Cameron McGeehan chose a good time to score his first Scunthorpe goal as his late leveler forced a 2-2 draw with Rotherham in their Sky Bet League 1 playoff semi-final first leg at Blanford Park. Joe Newell's goal 58 seconds after coming on looked like giving the Millers the advantage but McGeehan, on loan from Barnsley, bundled home from close range in the 88th minute. Ratherham had twice led after John Taylor's early goal was cancelled out barely a minute later by a Michael I. Hikeway own goal, but they will still be happy with the result and will be favourites to progress to Wembley when they host the second leg on Wednesday night. Ratherham United's John Taylor, Wright, celebrates scoring his side's first goal of the game at Glanford Park. Photo, Anthony Devlin, Pam McGeehan's late intervention does mean, though, that Iron remain undefeated under caretaker manager Nick Dawes since he took over from Graham Alexander in March. It was a tight start as both sides felt each other out before it burst to life with two goals in 76 seconds. Warren's men went in front as ex Dundalk midfielder Richie Toil's delightful ball set Taylor clear and the winger composed himself and found the back of the net with a low finish from 12 yards out in the 17th minute. But their celebrations had barely ended by the time Scunthorpe were level. Aki Badalock and broke free down the right, played in Dwayne Holmes, whose clipped finish was going wide before being turned into his own net by Ahi Ekwe when he had time to do better. That gave the hosts a big lift and they almost took the lead a couple of minutes later, but Rory McArdle's downward header bounced up and hit the crossbar. Scunthorpe continued to assert their authority after the break and McArdle had another fine chance but he headed Josh Morris's cross straight at Merrick Rodick when anywhere else would have resulted in a goal. Rotherham made a substitution to try and affect the game and it had an immediate impact as Newell needed only 58 seconds to put his side back in front. Josh Emanuel made a surging run down the right, his cross was miscued by Toil into the path of Newell, who rifled a low shot into the bottom corner in the 64th minute. Scunthorpe had also made a change bringing on goalkeeper Rory Watson to replace the injured Matt Jilks and his first touch was to pick the ball out of the back of the net. The Millers were intent on keeping their lead a little bit longer than the first time, though they had Rodick to think as he got down well to save Holmes' effort and then blocked Ivan Tony's follow-up shot. Rather um appeared to be holding out, even looking more likely to get a third, but they succumbed to an 88th-minute set-piece with McGeehan forcing home from close range to leave it all to play for.